Hey guys, uh, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Um, today I'm going to be bringing you something a little different. Uh, lately I've been doing a lot of update videos and just kind of showing you guys uh, how my plants are doing. I've been showing you some haul videos uh, on uh, different plants that I'm getting, different equipment that I'm getting, um, and there's still going to be a lot more of that to come. But today I decided to do something just a little different and it's going to involve some dissecting and pulling apart uh, some of these old traps that are dead and aren't living anymore and have insects inside of them. Um, this one is actually inspired by my son, my seven-year-old. He was super curious about what happens to the bugs um, after they've been um, caught by the Venus fly traps. So we actually pulled one of these out. Uh, we, we cut the, the head off one of these black ones and we pulled it apart and we took a look at the insect inside so that he could kind of get an idea of uh, what it looked like and how that worked and that's actually what we're going to do today. Uh, this one here is, is, is intriguing and this one was really interesting because right here, you can see that one right there, uh, that one actually had a yellow jacket fly in there um, and clothes and I kind of knew right after it happened that it probably wasn't going to make it. The yellow jacket was literally the same size as that trap. Um, you can see it's not a huge trap and I could see also that the trap wasn't sealed and the problem is, is if you get an insect that doesn't uh, allow the trap to close completely and seal, what happens is it allows a lot of air um, and moisture in there and it can create like a, a fungus or bacteria and it can actually just kind of deteriorate the trap um, and completely kill it. And that's, that's what happened here. That's not what happens every time. Obviously some of these traps die without, um, you know, having the open source. Some of them just die because uh, you know, maybe the bugs sat there for too long or maybe the bugs too big. Um, but you know, these, these traps do die. It's a super common thing. You know, you can see with almost all of these, you got, if you look at this one right here, you got one trap that's dying, but look at all the traps that are coming in. So the traps die and new traps come in all the time. So don't be alarmed if you have some traps dying, especially if they have a bug inside of them. Uh, keep in mind though, don't, uh, eat, when it looks like the, your trap is dying, don't cut it off until it's completely dead. Um, I might be cutting a couple off today that are just a little premature just for this video's sake. Um, but please, if, if you see a trap, like this one here is a good example. Let me show you this one. See this trap right here? This is not one that I would cut off. You see how it still is green? You can see that the trap is dying, um, but the plant is actually still absorbing the nutrients from that insect. Okay, so even though that, that trap is obviously not gonna make it, it's, it's going to die here soon. That trap is actually still sending the nutrients from that insect inside of there to the rest of the plant. So really you want to wait to remove these until they're just about completely dead. Like this one is here. Like this one here you can see that one's completely dead. I don't think that one's really sending any more nutrients. Um, and there's really no reason to cut them off until they're really like this one. I'll show you this one here. See, see that one on the ground there? See that one is completely dead. You can actually wait until they're that dead to actually cut them off and get rid of them. See how that goes? It's dead all the way to the inside of the plant. Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, my, my memory card filled up. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, uh, you can see this here, this one, how it's black all the way to the plant. Um, that means that one's completely dead. You can cut that one off. Um, you're good to go. Now, uh, some of these today that I'm going to be cutting aren't all the way black. You can see this one still has a green stem. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and cut them off at the at the at the head there just to kind of use them for examples Normally, I wouldn't cut these off until they were like this one here on the ground like that one there See it's black all the way up to the rhizome up there. That's when I normally cut these off um, Usually I'd leave these ones here Like this guy here, but that's what I'm going to cut for you today so that we can take a look at uh, Just for this video's sake. I'm going to I'm probably going to cut this one um, there's another one here that I'm going to cut and we're just going to open them up and take a look inside and see what the insects look like. So let's check it out. All right guys, uh, real quick before I open these up, cut them off and open them up, I'm going to put my, my camera on a tripod here. But uh, if you guys think this content is cool um, or you like this content, uh, if you could subscribe to my channel, um, that seriously means a lot to me. Uh, I'm working on opening up a carnivorous plant nursery in my community. And uh, these videos are sort of uh, helping me um, learn and then also helping me have a little bit of income so that I can uh, sort of follow that dream. Uh, you subscribing to my video, you liking my video or buying anything that's in any of my video descriptions, stuff like that, that all is a, is a, is a form of supporting me. And uh, I really appreciate your support. 
Uh, so thanks for being here. Now let's go ahead and uh, cut some of these open and, and check out the insects on the inside. Okay guys, let's go ahead and start with this one here. I'm just gonna show you how I'm cutting them. Um, and then we will zoom the camera in a little bit closer so you can actually see uh, what the insects look like inside of there. So we're just gonna cut this guy off right here. There we go, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna set it aside down here. Okay, so there's one down. Let's see, I think we're gonna do this one. It's kind of hard to see this one. Uh, this one over here. Move this trap aside just a little bit so you can see it. Cut. Uh oh. There we go. Perfect. Let me grab that one, put it over here. Okay. And then I think I'm going to do this guy. This might be a little too close for this to zoom. We'll see. Oh no, we look good. Okay. I'm going to cut. Just a little bit. You wouldn't believe it. There's actually a fly swarming my face right now. Oh, the irony. Okay. Let's see this one over here. I'm going to cut that one off. That one's almost completely dead. Okay. Let's start with that. Bring this guy. See? Yeah. Okay. I'm bring this guy over here. Let's see. I think that's all I want to do for now. Let's do those three. I think those three all have bugs in them. These other ones still have a little bit of... Well, you know what? Let's do one more. Uh, let's do this one here. Let's see if it has this one right here. Let's see if it has anything inside of it. There you go. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to cut this one off here. This is the one I used before as an example of one that you should be cutting off anyway. I guess we could always look inside of this one too and see um, what's in there. Maybe we'll find something. Okay. Okay, guys. There are the specimen that we're going to be using. Um, looks like I have four, five here total. I'm going to try my best to keep this focused for you uh, so you can see everything. Um, but I just see a lot of people say, you know, hey, we, you know, you show your, your Venus flytraps catching the bugs. Uh, but people are always really curious about what happens to the bugs after, um, you know, they've digested. Um, and, you know, a lot of times you can see in the flytraps that the traps are open and they're still healthy. And you can kind of see the little uh, exoskeleton in there. But... Uh, this will be kind of an interesting, interesting way to actually rip one of these open and see uh, how they impact the plant and how the plant impacts the insects. So let's go ahead. I want to do this one first. This is the the yellow jacket here. I know there's a yellow jacket in here, so let's see what happened. Now this might be kind of tricky. I'm gonna try to because I don't want to cover the camera up here. So let's see if I can get this open without being too much of an ordeal here. There we go. It actually is almost like a little bit. Make sure that that's still on the camera, okay. It's almost like a little bit wet. Um, which definitely tells me that some moisture got in here and uh, impacted this. There he is. There's the little yellow jacket. It's not a huge yellow jacket, um, but you can see the little exoskeleton. It looks like the plant did get a lot from this guy. So let's go ahead and put him right here. So you can see Stay in focus for you guys. I'm gonna see how close I can get. That's not gonna work. There you, go. you can see him there. You can see. Let me see if I can rotate him a little bit for you. There you go. There's, there's his head. See, and it's just kind of a dried little carcass. You could see uh, his. There's still a little bit of stripes, and his uh, shapes and stuff are still on his back. Right there. Um, the wings are just completely dried up. Over here real quick. But yeah, so that's what a yellow jacket will look like after they have been consumed and have fed your Venus flytrap. I'm gonna see if I can let me see if I can get a good angle on them here, and then I'll zoom in a little bit. 
There we go, there's the top of them. That's probably the most interesting view right there. There you go, that's a pretty good view right there. There's his eyes right there, and there's his bottom. You can see his wings a little bit right there. Inside of the flight trap, right there. Cool. All right, let's open the next one and see. Let's check it out. I don't know with 100% certainty that there's anything in these. I'm just kind of assuming that since they're folded up and dead that they have. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, I don't know what that is, but let's see. Again, you can feel that this one is almost a little moist, uh, which is a good indicator that that's what killed the trap. Is it actually this one actually looks a little, a little moldy. There we go. Can you see that? Okay, so this one looks like it is just a, a normal fly. You see its little bug eyes right there. Um, but you can see it looks like it has a little bit of like fungus or mold on it. That little bit of white. There it is on the bottom. See that? That's more than likely what killed this trap. Yeah, it's really soft and kind of kind of moldy. I don't know if you can see that. That's up, but there you go. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. Cool. So just another fly. So I'm just gonna keep all my little my little corpses here together so that we can bring them all into the frame at the end here. Okay. Let's see if I can get this one open here. Oh yeah, I can already see the fly. So tricky to open. These guys seal shockingly well. When they when they close, they close. They don't open unless they want to open. It's really hard to get these out of here. Oh, this one is really shabby. You can tell that this fly was way too big for this little trap. <laughs> there he is. I wasn't able to really save much of that trap, but this fly is in a lot better shape than that last one was. You can see, there's just kind of the, that weird color that they give off. That little green and blue. See, there's his wings. Let's see if I can flip them here. And you can see the bottom of them just looks kind of kind of rotted away. But look, it's just a, it's a little exoskeleton. There's not much here. You still see that? Yeah, okay. I wish my camera was a little bit better in terms of like macro. This would be a much more interesting video, but this is the best I got for you right now. Uh, at least it's uh, pretty high resolution, so there we go. Let's get him out of the way. Let's see. Uh-oh, maybe not so interesting. This one looks like it almost completely consumed whatever this insect was. Yeah, look at that. I don't even know what this little chunk of, just looks like a little chunk of nothing. So I'm not really sure what that is. Um, probably a fly. You can see some little legs or something right there, but uh, yeah, this one was just completely, oh yeah, look, there's the little bit of green and blue you can see there. I don't know if that's coming through very well on the camera. That's so tiny, but uh, let's see if I can get in a little bit more here. Nope. Sorry. There's a little bit closer. I can center him for you. It would probably help if I had a a white background. Maybe I'll do that here. I'm actually that's actually probably one of the reasons these aren't standing out very well. Let me grab a white piece of paper real quick. There we go, guys. Sorry about that. I, I brought all of our little um, insects back out here so you could look at them again here on this white background. Uh, that's actually coming through a lot better. Let me see if it'll let me get a little closer with the white. No. It's still as close as it's going to let me get right there. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at these guys a little bit more now. We got a white background. It'll be a little more interesting. Flip this.
this guy over for you. And there we go. You can see him a lot better now. You see, there's his tail. What's it? Is it a thorax? I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not an insect expert. I have no idea. Uh, the stinger part. And then there is his eyes and his antennae right there. So uh, yeah, that's a much better view of that guy. Here's the little fly that we could see pretty well. Oh, he's a little crunchy. A little crunchy. Let me flip him over. Oh shoot, let me flip him over. For, oh, there we go. There's that green that we were talking about. It's kind of the one of the easy ways to identify these flies. You can see the green and the the blue. There's his eyes, a wing, um, and then this was just a little tiny fly. You can just barely see anything of him left. And then this, I'm pretty sure that's only part of that fly. <laughs> uh, but let me bring these back over real quick too, so you can see. This one was a good one here because this, the trap didn't get destroyed here. Let's see. Let's see, you can see the inside of it really well. Let's see what it looks like there. Oh, let me bring it up just a little bit. There we go. Pretty cool. Okay, what the heck? Let's just do this last one. We're here, we're doing it, we're in it. This one's tiny, so I don't know. There's definitely something in there. I can see the little lump. Here, let's see here. Oh, it looks like a fly. I can see the green. Oh, oh yeah, there he is. You can see the wing. See that? This trap's are really dead. That one's a lost cause, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm glad none of the other ones were that bad before. Uh, you know, so that we could actually see them, but yeah, here we go. Bring all these guys back in, our little stars of the show. I know it's probably weird to say, treat these guys like they're the stars of the show, but the thing is, is that you have to be a little bit weird to be growing these plants in the first place, so I'm sure you're okay with it. Go. Oh no. Oh no, but you can see that's that's actually kind of nice to see because you can see just how dry they are. They just kind of crumble. So the bee's little little booty fell off. You can actually see his little. I don't know if that's his stinger or not. It's probably not. It's probably just me thinking bee stinger. But yeah, there we go, guys. Um, I hope that was interesting. Um, I know it's not super interesting because it's you know it is what it is. It's it's dried up bug exoskeletons it's not super interesting but at least you know what it looks like on the inside of a trap um, you know it looks like after they've kind of passed away uh, we've talked a little bit about when to cut these guys back um, and how that works and they've got to see some little little bug exoskeletons and what the leftover remains are after these fly traps get done devouring them so again guys subscribe to the channel uh, get updates on my my plants and uh, I got some new lighting stuff coming um, we're going to talk about dormancy here soon. We got lots of awesome content coming around all around these uh, carnivorous plants. We got Nepenthes, Saracenia, Venus flytraps, uh, sundews, some, some little drosaris that I just got from predatory plants that I'm going to be doing some stuff on. So uh, definitely make sure and subscribe so you can check out all my content. Um, I also have a website, carnivorousplantshub.com. Uh, check that out when you can. Uh, there's some great content over there too. Some great, especially some great Venus flytrap how-tos all about how to take care of them and everything. I got pretty much anything you can think of. So yeah, thanks a lot guys for stopping by and I hope to see you again.